but also sharing stuff around sales and today's video is again about uh, sharing useful things um, in regards to sales and outbound calling and uh, I really appreciate the fact that you're watching this video thank you very much for joining thank you for 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 your time please be so kind and subscribe to this um, to this channel and hit the notification button um, so let me and let YouTube know that you like my content and that it's useful this is specifically the, the purpose of my video that I really try to be of benefit for you um, so <clears throat> In my uh, last video, uh, I spoke about the importance uh, and the important uh, the importance of of uh, the PA who is transferring the calls to the decision maker or, or who is actually organizing the appointments which we want to have in regards to the um, product or service we are offering to the uh, organization. And um, I spoke that uh, a PA is a decision maker and she has to be treated like that. Uh, it is good to have a conversation uh, with her uh, and to establish a relationship uh, apart from uh, and, you know, to, to separate you from the usual cold caller who just doesn't leave any kind of impression because he just wants to <clears throat> get rid of the, the, of, of the PA and uh, get through with all and to enforce this uh, tra transfer to the to the decision maker and it's not working like that uh, i said that you need to engage with the pa and this will help you to get to the appointment maybe not with the decision maker itself but possibly with someone else who is even more likely responsible for the topic you are offering but i mentioned in the video as well that there are some uh, phrases and some introductions some uh, conversation <clears throat> uh, conversation parts, conversation structures, which can help you to be transferred uh, via switchboard or via PA directly to the decision maker. And uh, today I would like to introduce uh, you to this uh, particular um, um, uh, introduction or to this particular s sequence, which I'm, I use a lot and which is helping me in many, many times. And really, in most cases, it's helping me to get through to the decision maker. Um, it's simple, and uh, I will get straight to the point, and I will reveal it to you now. Um, please hit the like button if you like if you like what to hear. But it's work. It works. It, I'm always. I'm only giving you away. Um, um, really. Um, useful hints which work for me and work for me many many hundred ca hundreds cases m hundreds of cases where I was able to create leads and uh, business opportunities of high value with big organization um, I'm a BDR responsible for mainly the Dach region the German speaking region but uh, and for the, but for big companies um, enterprise size which is uh, which is according to the rules in my current organization I'm working for uh, with which are companies with a higher revenue than 1.5 billion US dollar and uh, so I speak to the big guys and yeah and it, it's working very well so the, the phrase which I use to ask the PA to transfer me to the decision maker is just that I'm introducing myself as mentioned in the introduction in in the video about the introduction before hello my name is damien i'm speak i'm calling from let's assume i'm calling from microsoft yeah um just just like a random company everybody knows it i'm not working for microsoft by the way so yeah don't sue me for anything i just say give it an example it's an example um hello damien speaking here i'm calling from microsoft good afternoon and we let this break happen. We like this would be pause to let the uh, this, the PA to answer us and to give feedback because we want to get into the discussion just from the beginning, from the start. The second uh, phrase is um, um, uh, the second the instantly after instantly after. Sorry for this air, yeah. <laughs> not good. So I will start again. Hello, Damien speaking here from Microsoft. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my name. Good afternoon. Um, um, I would like to speak to uh, Mr. XY. Can you please connect me with uh, Mr. XY or with Mark? 
um, and tell him that Damien from Microsoft is calling. Thank you. And this is actually it. So I'm repeating it now f f again, just um, to uh, because repetition is important and it helps you learning. Hello, Damien speaking here from Microsoft. Good afternoon. Good afternoon from the other side. Can I speak with Mark uh, XY, please? Uh, can you transfer me to, to Mark and tell him that Damien from uh, Ma um, Microsoft is calling? Thank you. And so, uh, with this phrase, we the the possibility or the probability that you will be transferred through, or I am will be transferred through, is very very high. Uh, it happens almost uh, in a, al almost, I would say like m ab above seventy percent of the calls where I have the the, the PA or the switchboard on on the phone call. Um, specifically in, in the DAC region, they are transferring directly to the decision maker who is then picking up the phone or like I'm getting through to the voicemail uh, depending on uh, of his availability and if he's like answering um, the phone. But uh, uh, I want to like to speak about the phrase which is like how it's structured. So <clears throat> obviously the first part is about introducing myself, saying hello, good afternoon and then letting the <clears throat> uh, the PA respond uh, or the switchboard respond because it's important we are creating a discussion and interaction here and in the second uh, stage we are telling can um, can I uh, I would like to speak I want to speak I want to speak you can also use the word want to this is actually something which is not, doesn't happen too much because people think that this is unpolite but this is actually what what's also working very well um, because we are directly expressing what we want to do and it's honest and straightforward and it's not impolite you can say I want to speak to Mark XY can you please transfer me to Mark and uh, tell him that Damien from Microsoft is calling thank you